All right, I don't know if you know this or not, but the presidential debates for the Democrats start this week over a course of two nights. And there are 20 candidates deemed significant enough to qualify. Now, since I have personally been through two cycles of debates as a participant in both 2008 and 2016, I want to give you a little perspective and some things to watch for. Let's get right to it. These are not debates. I was a debater in high school and in college, and there is nothing that resembles a debate in these forums, whether it's Democrat or Republican. They're TV shows, pure and simple. Folks, it's showbiz. It is not designed to inform the voters in the respective parties about the candidates, their qualifications, or their positions on issues that matter to you, the voter. Now, these are reality TV shows crafted to get ratings and therefore get revenue. They're cash cows for the networks who get to do them. First of all, this process ought to be about the voters in the party so they can pick their nominee, not the network determining who will say the most volatile things to create some sound bites for the news broadcast and for YouTube. Now, the parties, this year meaning the Democrats, since they're the only ones with the contested primary, I say they should wrest control back from the TV people, and they ought to own this process. Now, some may think that I'm insincere in providing helpful advice to the Democrats, but frankly, it's because I want to help the system, and I want to help the people who have the guts to get on the ballot, and not the prima donnas at the moderator table who forget it's not about them. It's supposed to be about the candidates, and this year, the Democratic voters. Now, to Democrat Chair Tom Perez, I humbly say, don't cede control over to the TV networks, because their interests are not your interest. The parties ought to select the venues, the procedures, the qualifications, the time frames, and yes, they even ought to control the questions. You see, it's absurd that a debate anchor will pontificate for three minutes presenting some convoluted question with more twists and turns than a roller coaster, and then say to the candidate, you know, that person who actually could be president and who had the nerve to risk all to try, to turn to that candidate and say, okay, I've spent three minutes asking six different questions. You have 30 seconds to answer. And if you take more time than that, I'll humiliate you with a buzzer like yours. <laughs> And then you feel like you're a contestant in some game show. It's insulting and demeaning. And if the pretty people from TV want to run for president, let them run. But don't let them divvy out the times for candidates to speak as if they're treats for the dogs. Now, the Democrats were wise to draw names for which night they're going to be on. But I would also suggest make stage position and the order of questions equally random. Give every candidate exactly the same amount of time during the debate. So if each candidate is allocated eight minutes for the evening, then as soon as the candidate begins to speak, start the timer. And if he or she takes 45 seconds, that candidate has seven minutes and 15 seconds for future questions. Now, if the candidate wants to spend all eight of his or her minutes on the first question, then that candidate is done. At that point, you can just leave the stage and go get a sandwich. Because here's the way it would work. Once you've used your time, you're done for the night. And that way, everyone gets the full eight minutes, but no one gets more. And that way, the TV host don't decide who gets to be heard and who doesn't. And instead of national network personalities, let local reporters from around the country ask the questions. My experience is their questions are immensely more insightful and revealing and more substantive. And by the way, if the parties won't take control, then the candidates should. They can gather all their campaign managers in a private meeting, and they can all agree that they will take back control. And if the networks won't budge, ditch them. Stage the debates. And if a network wants to cover it, I promise they will. And if they refuse to stop this circus and actually would make it a true fact-finding forum, then Congratulations. If not, it's their loss. But the current system is disgusting, insulting, and useless. And the voters in both parties 
deserve better and you should demand better.